Yama grass is like a lot of other native uh, warm season grasses in that it possesses a high level of seed dormancy. So uh, there are, are options for uh, when to plant and um, the type of seed to use. So why don't you go through some of those options? Okay. Uh, before we start talking about when to plant, it's important to realize uh, some details about the gamma grass seed. Uh, gamma grass seed is encapsulated in a stem-like material that uh, holds a seed that's very similar in appearance to a milo or sorghum seed. It's a round, uh, brownish colored seed that's about the size and shape of uh, milo or sorghum. Um, because it's in this shell, that uh, causes gamma grass to have a significant amount of dormancy physically, and there's also a chemical dormancy that's believed to exist in gamma grass. So if, if you're looking at planting gamma grass, uh, we get about down to two times to consider. One is what we call a dormant planting, which you do in the late fall or early to midwinter time period, uh, where you'd place the seed in the ground and allow nature to provide cold, wet conditioning of the seed. Um, the one time we usually don't recommend planting in, the, in the, that dormant time period is if you have ground that's going to be saturated or um, unindated with water uh, for fear of having the seed rot in the ground. So what options do those people have? If, if the, the other option uh, instead of dormant planting is to do a spring planting and that needs to be done with seed that's gone through a dormancy breaking process which we offer uh, it's called our GermTech 2 priming process uh, we uh, treat the seed go through an extensive process that we believe helps break down the chemical and physical dormancy so that you can take the seed and plant it in the spring and get uh, acceptable stands established if you were to plant unprimed seed in the spring uh, you wouldn't necessarily lose the seed, but your stand establishment would be much longer, maybe even multiple years before you have all the seed germinating. Okay, so a lot of times people will say to me, uh, what date in the spring should I plant my seed? And what do you uh, think is the right date? Uh, actually, uh, what I tell a lot of people is, uh, don't let the calendar influence you as much as waiting until you have good soil conditions, uh, seedbed conditions for planting. Uh, we don't usually like to plant uh, too early in the spring if you're talking about uh, prime spring. seed mm -hmm. or, or dormancy broken seed. Uh, I usually like to suggest you wait till the soil temperatures warm up to 55 or 60 degrees. Uh, but again, uh, getting it in the minute that happens isn't as important as waiting until the seedbed is uh, a good uh, seedbed to be planting into as far as friable but yet uh, moisture where you can control the uh, planting depth and uh, get good seed to soil contact. So for a spring planting what's their window of opportunity? Do they need to be done by a certain date? Uh, we've uh, found from experience from numerous plantings we've done that uh, you could start uh, again as early as that 55 to 6 degree uh, soil temperature but uh, we've even been into late spring and early summer, uh, even into early June, and had very uh, good stand establishment by doing that. Okay, so to kind of wrap this up, we've got two planting options, a dormant one mm -hmm. and a um, spring planting, mm -hmm. and we use unprimed seed for the dormant and let nature help with the dormancy breaking, and for spring planting we'll have uh, plenty of Trimtech 2 processed seed ready to go. Right.